One of my favorite indoor plants is slowly dying. I had a look at the leaves and on closer inspection, I noticed that there were these tiny little dots. When touched, the dots started to move. Naturally, I had to put this under the microscope and take a closer look. These are spider mites. There are over 1,200 species of different spider mites. They live in large groups and they generally live on the undersides of leaves and plants. The spider mites cause damage to the plants. They do this because they puncture the plant cells to feed. When fully grown, the spider mite will only grow to about 1 mm in size, which is about 0.04 inches. Their small size makes them incredibly difficult to spot, and when you've seen one, you already have a thousand or more on the plant. The spider mite gets the spider part of its common name because of its ability to spin webs. The spider mites will spin a complex web network that provides protection for their colony. The webbing not only adds strength to their group, but it is also sticky and prevents predators from attacking the spider mites. Some spider mite varieties will hatch in as little as three days, and they will be sexually mature within five days. The females can lay up to 20 eggs per day over a lifespan of two to four weeks. Their fast reproductive rate helps the spider mite grow resistant to pesticides. This makes these critters a very difficult pest to control. So are they dangerous to humans? Well, the answer is no. Though they are related to ticks and spiders, they only have a desire to consume plant matter. They do have needle-like mouth parts, but these are only for piercing plant cells. And that's it. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.